Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I'm sharing a glow in the dark card featuring the little fireflies and lights out brand new small mini stamp sets from Lawn Fawn for glow in the dark interaction. Super, super fun. The background from the um, snowy backdrop glows in the dark, as do the little circles behind each of the little fireflies. And it makes for a super fun interactive style card. I'm gonna start with this A2 sized piece of smooth white cardstock that I am just direct to paper applying Versamark ink to so that I can completely coat this with the glow in the dark embossing powder. This is where the magic happens. This glow in the dark embossing powder is what is going to make this card so super cool. This is really, for me, the easiest way I could come up with adding that glow in the dark background. I did not want to try to ink all of those teeny tiny little pieces from the snowy backdrop. I did not want to try to inlay them. There are so many, but I wanted all of those little areas to light up. I wanted it to look like a night sky. I know it's called snowy backdrop, but I think it works perfectly for a night sky as well. So I am simply just heating this paper up. And I'm gonna do this a couple times. And the reason is, is I wanna get a really thick coating of embossing powder. So I heat set it the first time and it was really, really blotchy. Um, covering this big of an area direct to paper tends to be kind of messy. It looks like a lot of embossing powder. I am using quite a bit. I'm using a coffee filter here to catch all the excess. But when I dump it back into the container, my container is still almost completely full even after this project. So it really is a lot less than what you think it's actually using. Two coats of the glow in the dark embossing powder is just what I needed. That is gonna give it a perfect coating. I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside and I have die cut the snowy backdrop from some smooth white cardstock and I'm adding blueprint sketch, shaded lilac and black soot distress oxide inks to this panel. This is gonna be my night sky. Most of those blue and purples are really gonna be covered up. You're not gonna see a ton of it, but it's gonna have enough of that undertone to add some interest to the sky. I'm blending these together. That looks awesome. I even went and tried this out in the dark um, hallway in my basement to see if it worked and it did and I was kind of pumped. So next I've got this circle that is die cut using one of these circle stackables dies. And from this, I die cut this from some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I inked it up with fossilized amber distress oxide ink. And then I uh, added just a little black soot around the edges and spritzed this with Perfect Pearls that's been um, diluted in some water. And I sprayed it all over the surface to give it this shiny kind of look for a moon. This is the, gonna be the moon up in the sky and it's also gonna serve as the perfect place to add my greetings to the front of the card. And I wanted it to have that really shimmery, pretty look. I didn't want it to be super bright yellow. Nothing on my card is really bright. I tried to use more muted tones for my card and so this is a great way to kind of mute that a little more. I kept applying water from a distress sprayer and the perfect pearls just to get the exact consistency I wanted. And then I went ahead and heated this up with my heat tool to dry that quickly so I could go ahead and stamp my greetings. We're gonna combine greetings from the Little Fireflies and Lights Out stamp sets. What is awesome is the main greeting is from Little Fireflies. Hope your day glows with happiness. The rest is from Lights Out, and this is what's gonna tell the recipient of the card that this is an interactive card. There is um, I Glow in the Dark, Lights Out, um, different configurations of I Glow in the Dark just to let your reader or your um, re card recipient know what this card does. And I went ahead and stamped that right below my sentiment. I'm sp or sprinkling on some Lawn Fawn White Embossing Powder and then heat setting this. Let's grab the background now. And I am going to go ahead and get my two borders, die cut and inked. 
From another piece of smooth white cardstock, I used the simple grassy hillsides to die cut two borders. I'm inking these up with Forest Moss Distress Oxide ink. Again, the ink color was chosen because it's more muted. It is not bright. It's going to go much better with this kind of night sky feeling that I have going here. And just being pretty generous with my ink, inking up these two borders. These are both gonna go along the bottom edge. I like to do two borders so that I have somewhere to tuck my elements in between. So I'm gonna be tucking the little How You Bean glass jar in between these two elements. Let's go ahead and adhere the snowy backdrop or the night sky background to the glow in the dark panel and go ahead and adhere both grassy borders along the bottom edge of this card. And when you take this in the dark, all of those little stars and circles are going to glow in the dark, which is really amazing. Lots of glow in the dark for this card, which I really, really love. Once we have this panel in place, we're going to adhere the moon hanging off the top right corner of the card and trim off any of the excess. I purposely positioned my sentiments a little bit lower on the circle so that I could trim off what wasn't needed here. And there is the background. We are ready to start working on all of the cute little elements now that are really gonna make this card shine. And that is the fireflies from the Little Firefly stamp set, the jar lid from How You Bean, and we're gonna stamp those on some smooth white cardstock using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink, and then color in these images with Copic markers. Starting with the little yellow light up end of the fireflies, I went ahead and colored these in with some yellow red colors, YR30 and 31. And then we're gonna color in the wings of the fireflies with some purples. And that first firefly, I, I went a little too bright blue. I didn't really go with the feel I wanted for the card. So I'm gonna switch it up for the rest of them with some blue green colors that I think are a little more muted and work better with this particular color scheme. Blue, blue green 70 and 72 with R20 for the cheeks. And again, any of the firefly wings that I haven't already colored. I'm going to color in now with B60 and 63, which are some really pretty purpley kind of colors. Even though they're called blue colors because they only have the B in front of them, I use them often for purple. I really like that. If at any time it gets a little too dark, you can always take a colorless blender to blend that out a little bit and help push that ink out and around and mute it just a tiny bit. Once all of the fireflies are colored, we can color in the lid with whatever color you want. I decided to go very basic with kind of a, just a silver lid here, and that is gonna be cool gray two, four, and six. Very, very easy. Oh, and I forgot to mention R00 was used for the cheeks on the forward facing fireflies. So there's a front and back to each of the fireflies. There is one single die that works for both the front and the back, which means these would make awesome spinners if you wanted to do a spinner card. I think that would be really, really fun. So here I'm gonna take the jar image from How You Bean, stamp this on vellum with Versamark ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. I wanted a see-through jar. I did not wanna stamp this on white cardstock and not be able to see the sky through it. So the answer to that for me was using vellum, but still to get that outline, I wanted to have um, a little bit of stamping, so I went ahead and used the image with Versamark ink and white embossing powder. We'll die cut that with the coordinating die. Just line that up. I like to use a little post-it tape to hold it in place and then run it through the die cutting machine. This is the element that's going to be tucked between the two grassy borders along the bottom edge of the card. And because I already glued down the border, I didn't wanna tear it up. So I'm just going to trim off part of my jar with some scissors 
you'll never know, I, and it'll be much easier to tuck that between the two sections. I did go ahead and already glue my fireflies in place on the card for the most part. There's one additional one that's gonna go along the bottom edge that I haven't glued yet because I'm not exactly sure where I wanna put it. But these, there's a several of them in the jar, one kind of coming out, the lid has fallen off, so they're all kind of escaping is what I wanted it to look like. But we don't want to glue that down yet because we need to add the glow in the dark element to each of the fireflies. So I'm going to just glue the jar lid in place or adhere that in place. And then we'll work on the little light up element. In the little fireflies stamp set, there's a couple of circles. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we get to that, I did add some glittery um, element to the wings of the fireflies. I love the Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard. It's a translucent sparkly color so it's really going to add some awesome sparkle and it does dry fairly quick. I put a very thin layer on the firefly wings and it gives them a fantastic sparkly iridescent kind of look. So the circles from Little Fireflies you can use whichever one you want, but it makes an amazing little light up element at the um, hind end of each of the fireflies, I guess I want to say. So when you have it in the dark, you see these great little glow in the dark areas. I stamped several of these on smooth white cardstock. I went ahead and added two layers of embossing powder. So I would heat it up and immediately add another layer of embossing powder and then heat that up and then die cut all of these. Two layers of embossing powder just gives it a lot more of that glow in the dark look, I think. I think one layer probably works just fine as well, but I wanted that really thick layer of the glow in the dark embossing powder. Then each of these little circles is going to be tucked behind or at the bottom of each firefly. So I'll show you that here in a second. I'm trying to hit position a couple of these. One of them goes underneath those grassy borders and it was a little tricky to get, get it quite in place. But when you turn off all the lights, not only are you gonna see the glow in the dark element of the sky, but you'll see all of these bigger glow in the dark circles and that indicates where all the fireflies are. And I just think that's super, super fun. Again, I'm using my coffee filter to contain all my little glow in the dark embossing powder. Um, anything that I've shook off or tapped off of my project. And it's very easy to dump that back into the jar when I'm finished. I repeated this several times. I only used the large circle of uh, stamp circle but you could use either one. Once I have that all done and I have die cut them, I'm going to adhere them all to the card. I'm using some little bling glue dots to attach all of these. And even when the lights are on, it gives a kind of nice glow back behind each of these. Now I'm gonna take my jar and I wanna tuck that in between the two layers of grass and I'm gonna use a little liquid adhesive hidden behind the embossed areas of the jar to hide that glue and make it appear that these fireflies are coming from inside the jar. So just along the top edge where there's some embossing, along the long edge, I'm just gonna hide some little bit of the Ranger multi Matte Medium, put something heavy like an acrylic block on top to hold that down, hold that in place until the liquid glue dries. I decided I loved the little uh, firefly trail from the little firefly stamp set. I'm gonna stamp that along the bottom edge with Versamark ink and heat emboss this with white embossing powder. It adds a really fun little decorative touch um, to the bottom area of the card. And that's where we're gonna add our final firefly as well as the little light up area behind him. So we'll add that with some bling mini glue dots. We want to make sure and add some sparkle to this firefly's wings as well. I held off on doing that earlier until I adhered him. So I'm just gonna add that white blizzard Duvo crystal drops to the firefly wings. 
and then take a black jelly roll pin and add detail to the eyes on the front facing fireflies and then take this whole panel and adhere it to a white top fold card base to finish the card and I like to cover the card base with adhesive I'm using a strong adhesive here and then take my panel to that and that will finish up the card design. The next still photo will show the glow in the dark element only. I took this picture in the dark with my phone, so it might not be the best, but I wanted to show you what it looks like in the dark, how much it lights up. It's so super cool. Thanks for joining me today for this glow in the dark card featuring Lawn Fawn stamps, dies, and awesome glow in the dark embossing powder. The supplies I used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more cards featuring Lawn Fawn stamps and dies that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.